Hi everyone, today's video is on prime factors and um, writing um, a number as a product of its prime factors and making sure your answer is in index form. Now this combines um, knowing your prime numbers, understanding what a factor is and then knowing what to do when uh, you need to put a number with powers. Okay, It's pretty straightforward if you follow the rules. So what I'm going to do first of all is write down the prime numbers, okay? I'm only going to probably put down the first five because you don't tend to need to know any more than that. So I've got two, three, five, seven, eleven. And if you can't remember what a prime number is, you need to watch my video on prime numbers. Um, but for just now, it's a number that can only be divided by itself and once it's got two factors. OK, so how I do these is um, my pupils know it as a factor tree. So I start off with 80 at the top and I draw two branches off it. And what I'm looking for is two numbers that multiply together to make 80. It doesn't matter what two numbers you pick, as long as when you multiply them, they make the 80. So I'm going to go for the obvious one. I know that 8 times 10 is 80. Now, neither of those numbers are prime, okay? So that doesn't matter. So what I would do is I would draw branches off both of those. So what I'm trying to do is break down 80 into just prime numbers um, multiplied together to make the 80. So which ones are they going to be? So I have to keep going until all my branches end with a prime number. So now, I need to think of two numbers that multiply together to make eight. Um, so I'm going to go with four and two. Okay. Uh, we would never choose eight and one because one isn't a prime number, so it's not going to make any difference. Okay. And with my 10, I'm going to go with five and two. So now I'm going to circle the prime numbers. So two is prime, five is prime, and two is prime. Four isn't. So what I would do here is draw two more branches. And I know that 2 times 2 makes 4. So what I've got here is that 80 is equal to the prime numbers multiplied together. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, so let's check that. So I've got uh, 5 times 2 is 10, times 2 is 20 times 2 is 40, times 2 is 80, so that works, okay? So if I put an equals now, that's the first part, so that's writing it as a product, product of its prime factors. Writing it in index form is giving it a power, okay? So I can rewrite 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 as 2 to the power of 4 times 5, and that is my completed answer. A common question I get asked is, what happens if I didn't choose 8 and 10? Well, I'm going to very quickly show you what would happen. It's not going to make a difference what pair of numbers you pick up here. It will give us the same answer. So I'm going to go through this one quickly um, so you can see that it's not going to make a difference and we will still end up with 2 to the power of 4 times 5. So as you can see, it hasn't made a difference that I chose 40 and 2. Okay, so it still gave me the 4 2s and 1 5. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the next one. Um, so I've got 235. So I start off in the same way and I draw my two branches. Now, I don't know two numbers that, mul that multiply together to make 235. You might, but I don't. What I do know is, knowing my rules of divisibility, that this number can be divided by 5. OK, because it ends in a five. So that's the obvious one. Now, lots of um, pupils would say to me, but miss, I don't know what 235 divided by five is. And I always say to them, well, what would you do in that in that situation? Um, and lots of them said they would just give up. Um, but what I tried to encourage them to do is you need to do a division. OK, um, there's no nothing wrong with doing this at the side. I'm doing it. Um, so this is what I expect to see. So 5 into 2 doesn't go, so I carry the 2. 5 into 23 goes 4 times, carry the 3. And 4 into 35 goes 7 times. So I've got 
47. And what we're going to find here is that 47 is actually a prime number. So I would circle it. So my answer to this one is 235 equals 5 times 47. And that's all I would do. Okay. Um, have a go at some questions now that I've set you.